In breaking news, a 60-year-old man identifies as a six-year-old girl. First day of having my living room as my playroom. I just wanted you to see I made a tutu with my sewing machine. Oh no. And it's for pretending to be a little fairy. You see what happens now when we open the floodgates? <laughs> That's why the Bible says don't give a foothold to the enemy. Don't even give an inch to the enemy because if you do, he will stretch it to 10,000 miles. It started off with us wanting to accept men can be women and women can be men. It went from that to now, men want to believe that they can get pregnant, men want to believe that they can breastfeed, men want to believe that they can menstruate. The verdict definitely seems to be in on this one. Uh, trans women have periods, and that fills me with great relief because that was really scary pain that I've never experienced before in my life, the, the gut-wrenching. But it also fills me with quite a lot of empathy for women who have dealt with this their entire lives because I never could have fathomed it period pain was that bad so good on you guys for living i hope you guys have a nice day those you know those were the transsexuals now we got now we got transracial white people can be black people black people can be white people and then we have trans disabled people believe it or not people who identify as as disabled cutting off their limbs so that their bodies can reflect what their mind believes and you have trans blind people you had a woman that poured liquid drainer in her eyes and blinded herself because she identified as blind now what do we know you have a 60 year old man identifying as a six-year-old girl where does it stop? <laughs> Where does it stop? Is there a limit? Is there such thing as too much? So let me ask a question. What is stopping this 60 year old man that identifies as a six year old girl from going and molesting a child and saying because he identifies as a six year old, there should be nothing wrong with it. Them throwing out any repercussions, them throwing out any prosecution, them throwing out any type of punishment because he is a six-year-old girl sounds pretty ridiculous right sounds just as ridiculous as us going so far to sympathize with people who have mental problems mental problems and instead of addressing the true issue we try and compensate people and tickle their ears and appease them and tell them you're okay you can identify as whatever you want to no these people need help and I am surprised that there is not some type of mental institution that is not coming to pick these people up. I would not want my child around these type of people and I think there is something very wrong if you are okay having your children around these type of people. And you know what? This is the reality. The further that we slip away from biblical principles, the further that we remove the Bible from our schools and from our society, you get chaos and nonsense like this. I got a wacky idea and it just might work. <laughs>